Hello YouTube, welcome to another one of my Duel Links videos. Today I have for you a 30 card deck featuring uh, the three fusion, the three most power, most powerful fusion cards: Invocation, Neos Fusion, and Magicalized Fusion. Now you can probably come up with a 20 card version for this if you have three Keeper of the Dragon Magic, but we're free to play, so we only have one. And uh, yeah, other than that, it's just a grass deck. We're trying to dump as many uh, materials to the graveyard to then use Invocation and uh, Magicalized Fusion. Brave Neos, I'm sorry, I keep calling this Brave Neos because that's just what you summon all the time. Neos Fusion, you want to um, have early game because you need the materials in the deck or on the field. Uh, but yeah, the deck doesn't have a ton of synergy other than, uh, you know, deck thinning and um, be being able to be used for uh, materials. So we have two elemental brave news, two quintet magician, one Ma Magellanica, and one Cositus. Uh, for the deck list, we have one Chaos Sorcerer because we do have dark and light monsters. So it's an easy summon. If it gets milled by uh, grass, it's also a spellcaster with a different name for uh, the quintet effect. Uh, three invoker, one chocolate magician girl. Two Lila for the back row. Uh, one Keeper the Dragon Magic. He can search any of your fusions. So opening up with this card, it's crazy. Uh, but unfortunately, I only have the one. Uh, Destiny Hero Decider. Just to stall a little bit against decks that run uh, big monsters such as Blue Eyes. Uh, three Berry Magician Girl. So we can search and thin our deck. Most of the time, you want to search uh, Chocolate Magician Girl. Unless you're trying to go into Cositos, then you want to send Chocolate or... Uh, Crystal Seer with Neos Fusion. Uh, with two Apple Magician Girl, one Crystal Seer, another Spellcaster Water, uh, two Kiwi Magician Girl, and one Lemon Magician Girl. Two Elemental Neos for the Brave Fusion, uh, for the Brave Neos Fusion. Um, and yeah, we're running Spell Specialist, so we need five spells with different names. We have Grass, which is uh, the card we want to start with, so we can mill the deck. The three Fusions, and I was like, you know what? This is already a YOLO kind of deck, so let's just throw in a couple of Ace. If it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And that's pretty much it. Not a whole lot to explain. Um, but yeah, we got some entertaining replays. A lot of OTKs, thanks to Quintet Magician. Uh, but it was fun. I wish I would have been able to sneak in some Dark Magicians to maybe use the uh, Dark Magician uh, Warrior Fusion. Dark Cavalry, I think it's the name. This is a really good fusion, uh, but I didn't didn't really have room for Dark Magician because I went full out um, Magician Girl Engine. They have an insane hand. Uh, we have Grass to Mill, but before we mill, we're gonna go ahead and search for uh, Magicalized Fusion, and we also have Cup of Ace, which we're gonna save uh, for a pickle. All right. This is the crazy thing. Keeper of the Dragon can summon any uh, fusion material monster as long as you reveal a monster from your extra deck that has said fusion material. So we mill an Alistair, we reveal the Alistair, put him face down, and when he is face when he's flipped face up, we're gonna be able to search or uh, invocation. Alright, we're going up against Buster Blader, triple back row. I'm sure there's a DNA surgery somewhere in there, and we were missing one spellcaster. We top deck into Apple Magician Girl, so now we have five spellcasters with different names. Banish them all. I didn't want to. I didn't want to flip over my uh, my Alistair search invocation and give him a chance to respond with DNA surgery. I just wanted to, you know, blindside him with uh, the Quintet Magician immediately. Activate Cup of Ace. We miss. Uh, there's already an invocation in the grave, so we can actually add the Alistair back to our hand. We don't have a normal summon, but we can boost him up to 5,500 and farm Tyranno a little bit. And that's pretty much what you want to go for. Uh, you're not always going to end with uh, Quintet Magician, but he's definitely the boss that you want to summon. That's why most of our uh, engine is just spellcasters. Here we got a Mokuba. And this guy was running Red Eyes, I think. I think this was the Red Eyes matchup. Spell Specialist, 
we open three spells. We open all of our fusions, which is crazy. I had not noticed that in game. So we're gonna go for Brave Neos, send an Alistair the Invoker to the graveyard. So that we can banish the Alistair on, and summon something using invocation. Though right now I don't have a water or an earth. Alright, we're gonna hit him for 1600. Search another Neos fusion. Goes for Red Eyes fusion. Or searches Red Eyes fusion with insight, I should say. And special summons Red Eyes slash Dragon using Amazon a Source Woman, which is an Earth. And uh, a Red Eyes. So if I can get that Amazon a Source Woman in the graveyard, we can use it with Invocation. But right now we're just gonna stall. Uh, we have our Wincon, which is Magical Ice Fusion. And I have uh, Brave Neos plus Decider, who the Red Eyes cannot even attack. So we're just gonna stall a little bit, summon another one, send another uh, Spellcaster to the graveyard with a different name. We send Chocolate Magician Girl. Man, he destroys the Brave Neos. We pick up Cup of Ace. Draw two, because why not? And this is what I wanted to do here. I wanted to banish um, Alistair the Invoker because I have another one in my hand, so I'm not gonna lose a spellcaster in the graveyard. And but I wanted to um, force the Amazon Source Woman negation so I could get this Chaos Sorcerer in the graveyard. And him along with Lemon and the Alistair would be my five spellcasters with different names. It works out even better because he activates the Treacherous. Well, I shouldn't say better because now he still has the uh, Amazon so Source Woman attached. We're gonna activate Alistair to boost the uh, Brave Neos. Now we have five spellcasters with different names. Go for the Quintent Magician. Blow it all up. That's gonna summon an Amazon Source Woman, which would have been trouble, but we have a uh, Decider, so we don't have to take a ton of damage and just win the game. We still had Invocation if we wanted to summon uh, an Invoked Fusion as well. And now you're gonna see what a duel where I don't open my... or I don't get my Fusion spells. You're gonna see what that looks like. This was sort of a mirror match to a degree, I guess. We're both running uh, Magician Girls. I'm being benefited by his Field spell, so it feels good, man. Part of the dark. Alright, so we're gonna summon berry, add chocolate. I didn't want the grass right away because I I didn't want to mill all my fusions. I wanted to see if I could maybe top deck one of them or a keeper. It's going to tribute lemon to um, search for two dark magicians in the end phase. I wasn't gonna attack the lemon, obviously. Uh, there's the magician navigation. And look at this guy, look at what this guy does. I've never seen this before. Dark Side of Dimension. Animation followed by regular Dark Magician animation. This guy flexed both animations in the same uh, summon. So cool. That alone was save the replay worthy. Uh, he's gonna attack into Barry. Barry's gonna summon Apple. He decides to attack into Apple, activate Cube Magician Girl. That doesn't boost his Dark Magician though. And he's gonna clear my field, but at least we took care of one of the Dark Magicians. I'm gonna summon Chocolate, send Barry. I was really hoping to draw my Magical Ice Fusion. I do not. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and start milling. Go for Grass. And there go all of our fusions, or most of them at least. He goes for Eye of Timaeus. Look at how many spells he gets to banish off of my graveyard alone. Amulet Dragon. Two, three, four, five, six. Both invo invocations are gone, but they hands. Tax into Chocolate, Chocolate is going to summon Kiwi and destroy the Amulet Dragon. Unfortunately, Amulet Dragon is going to summon Dark Magician back. And he attacks into Barry first. He should have attacked... Uh... No, that was fine actually. It, it, wasn't, it was a different replay. 
We're gonna summon Apple, destroy the uh, Barry Magician girl. Activates Dark Veil. His life points are getting mighty low because he's being super aggressive. Apple is going to summon um, Invoker in defense position. I still lose both my monsters, which is fine. Because he's down to 400 life and has a 1350 monster on the field. <clears throat> so many ways to win this. All I do is summon Chocolate Magician Girl, attack over the Dark Magician, win the game. No fusion needed. But of course, that was a lot of that was just my opponent being overly confident. It's not like he didn't know how the deck worked, right? He runs the same monsters. Uh, but I think he just felt like he could. He could attack more than I could uh, summon monsters. Turns out he couldn't. Alright, next we have Loomis and Umbra. And I think this one... This might be the one where I pull off every fusion in the same duel. Uh, we're just gonna end. I don't want to commit anything. I don't know what he's playing. Uh, we're gonna see the Grave Keepers. I take 2,000 to the face. Time to go for Invocation. He negates and Cyclones my Invocation. I'm like, okay. Uh, we're gonna set the Alistair because otherwise we're going to lose. Alistair is going to search another Invocation. We we'll pick up a very Magician Girl, so that's that's gonna allow us to stall for a little bit. Activates Light and Dark, gets a second Silent Magician on the board, so now he has double negate. Uh, goes in on the attack, I summon Lemon, destroys the berry, decides not to attack into Lemon, which helps me out. I want this invocation to be negated. Thank you. Now I can go for Chocolate, send the Chaos, activate Magical Ice, which is gonna get negated. But it doesn't matter because we have a second one. There we go. Banish five with different names. Blow it all up. He's gonna econ take here. Uh, protect his level magi his silent magician level eight. But I can still go for the newest fusion after I get my invoker back to my hand. And that's the cool thing about Invoker, even if you're not using the Invoke fusions, you can still boost your other fusions. And I don't know if my opponent flat out forgot or didn't care, but he attacks into my Neos, we're gonna boost him to 3600. Activate another Neos fusion. I knew he was gonna return one of them to the, the extra deck, so that's why I attacked with the Quinted Magician first, so he was forced to return one of the Brave Neos. Necro Valley Throne is gonna add Gravekeeper Spy. Shoutouts to this guy, by the way, for not scooping. We'll pick up an Invoker, so time to use Invocation. And we use all three fusion spells in the same duel. Cosidos to the field. Add the Alistair back, and let's win this. Spy is gonna summon another Spy from the deck. 18 for the win. And then last duel is going to be against Crow Hogan. And I think this was just a st pretty straightforward OTK. This was a, a fun deck to use, man. Uh, like I said, if you, if you have Keeper, I have seen people run all three fusion spells with Keeper. Uh, because if you have three keepers, you can afford you can afford to run the fusions at one. Maybe not the brave Neos fusion, but the other two you can just run at one, and have access to search them at any point. So it makes a really strong twenty card deck. Here we have grass. We're just gonna open up uh, berry, search chocolate. Kirikuri is going to special summon a beret. And that's going to special summon uh, Nispachi. Nispachi is going to target my Berry Magician Girl. I was kind of in a lose-lose situation here. If uh, if I don't activate my Berry effect, she goes into defense position and when they attack, I have to flip it to attack position in order to activate the effect. 
So I just went ahead and activated here, even though it's going to get flip into the face position and then back into attack position. Level augmentation. I think that was a mistake. He's probably so used to running beatdown, he just activated his skill. Feels bad for him. Uh, but now we have Appleberry. Time to go for Grass. Activate Magicalized Fusion. Blow it all up. And that's the win. I was gonna go for the Invoker just so I could activate two fusion spells the same duel, but he didn't let me. But we still take that as a win. And yeah, this was a uh, this was fun, man. I played around um, a lot of different Invoker variants, and I ended up going with this. I tried Ancient Gears Invoker. It's good, but it I don't think it makes Ancient Gears better. I think they just it's, a, it's just overkill uh, to use this in Ancient Gears, but it did work. Uh, I didn't want to show that. Instead, I went with this. I hope you guys found this one more fun. Uh, thank you so much for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe if you want. And until next time.